What's up, what's up, and welcome to Stick It. My name is Lindsay Lee Hobson, and I'm an inspirational speaker and personal coach who started a revolution for young adults. And happy Monday morning. It is so cold where I live today. It's absolutely freezing. Let me know where you're all joining me from, not location-wise, but are you on Facebook, are you on LinkedIn, on YouTube? Brilliance of technology is where you're everywhere all at once. See the little push has just gone out, so I expect some people will be jumping on it very soon to join me today. Monday morning, guys. So hashtag um, Monday motivation. <laughs> you got the name of my own thing. My gosh, such a dunce sometimes. Oh, well, what can you do? You just got to live and learn. I see a little eyeballs there, guys. Let me know who's joining me. Comment. Let me know if you're on Facebook or LinkedIn or YouTube. Lovely to have you all here today. So back to the thing that I forgot. Hashtag Monday motivation. Woo! It's time to think about the future. The scary thing is 2020 is starting to wind up. Woo! I said it. I said the thing no one is supposed to say. I said 2020 is beginning to wind up. And I can see little eyeballs. Thanks for love hearts, guys. Let me know who's joining me. And that's a scary thing, especially if you're a millennial and Gen Z, because this year, 2020, is ridiculous. I saw a meme the other day that was like it was a marshmallow that you're toasting on the fire and just caught on fire and we're all running around screaming. That's what 2020 for a lot of people, not just in our generations, not just millennials and Gen Zs, have felt like. Thanks for the love, house guys. I can see your eyeballs. Let me know who's there and who's sending me all that love. So it's like, all right, we have this fear now that 2021 could be something something similar. And here where I live in Melbourne, and I know some places around the world, lockdowns for COVID are still very much in place. I know some places are just starting to go there now. Chances are some of those woes from this year, some of those concerns, some of those restrictions could overflow into next year. And I know this is a taboo topic, but there is a reason we're talking about this today on a hashtag Monday Motivation. Hey, Shani, thanks for joining me. You're awesome too. Looking forward to speaking to you later as well. Um, so... Some of that woe, some of those concerns, some of those fears. 2020 for a lot of people was a nothing year in the sense that we spent so long spinning our wheels trying to get some groups so we can move forward. We didn't actually get anywhere. It's like being bogged in the mud in a car. And that's the thing, the big thing, like the massive thing coming into 2021, especially, especially for us as millennials and Gen Zs. And thanks for the love hearts, guys. Let me know who's joining me. Give me a comment. I can see Shani there, but I can see lots of little eyeballs. So let me know where you are. Let me know who you are. But we're sitting there spinning the wheels, and that's the thing. So 2021, look, I keep going like this. Like, It's going to be a massive year one way or another because you're either going to continue with the same patterns that you've learned this year because it doesn't take a full year to set some serious patterns and some serious behavioural thoughts and patterns and neuro pathways in your mind. It does not take that long to be able to create something new in your life. And hi, um, Sarek, so is that Ali? I hope I've said that right. Thanks for joining me um, on Facebook. Let me know if you're not on Facebook, if you're on LinkedIn or YouTube, let me know. So it doesn't take that long to create these new learned behaviors, new learned fears, new learned anything really. And we're looking at down the barrel end of 2021. So you have a choice right now. Yes, it's only October 23rd, 24th. Thanks for the love, guys. I can see you sending all through now. Yes, we're only in October. Can't remember the exact date, but we're only in October. However, now is the time when decisions are made for 2021. If you want to start a new course, if you want to change careers, you've only got about six weeks before we start winding up for the year fully, completely. Because when it gets too close to Christmas, businesses start to close down. So if you have the wish... Because you understand that this year can be, next year, sorry, 2021, can be the same as this year or it can be different. If you really get that, if you really vibe with that, if you go, I have a choice right now, I'm at a crossroads in my life, I have the option to make next year very similar to this year, or I can do something completely different. And being millennials and Gen Zs, we have big ambitions. I've never spoken to someone from our generations who goes, eh, I know that's what people think about us often, but it's so not the case. We are so ambitious and driven. We have big goals for our lives. And sometimes what we don't have is the how. How do we make that happen? So if you're someone who's feeling super ambitious, thanks for joining me. Let me know. I can see the eyeballs. The eyeball numbers are going up. So let me know who's here. Comment. Make sure I don't feel like I'm talking to myself reflected back. I would love to know who's joining me today. So if you're really aware that you're at that crossroads, you feel it and you have big ambitions for next year, but you have no idea where to start, then this is the moment, this Monday motivation 
is the moment that you can do something about that. And what can you do? So if you're in the Facebook group, I know a lot of you guys are, I know Shani is, who joined us, I think Ali is, his name reminds, um, looks very familiar. If you're in the Facebook group, you would have seen last week I did an interview with one of my clients, one of my beautiful clients. She worked a job that she hated, like absolutely hated, for a very, very long time. And she hit that glass ceiling, but she had no idea what her passion was. She had no idea that if she didn't work there, what would she do? Like, what would a more ambitious, incredible year for her look like? What would purpose and passion and fulfillment really be like for her? So last week in the Facebook group, I interviewed her. An incredible interview. What do you dropped out halfway? So there's two parts of it. But it's a must watch for anyone who has big ambitions for next year. If you're a millennial and Gen Z and you want to make sure next year is a rocking year, like you want to vibe the year, you want to create a life that you wouldn't trade for anybody, but you're just not 100% sure what that would look like. You just know you haven't got it. It's okay. This interview with Carly, we talk about exactly that and what she discovered along the way and some of her pearls of wisdom for you. How did she know that it was time for her to leave retail and the job that she hated? How did she know what to move to? What process did she go to? What questions did she ask? Who did she speak with? These are all the things that we spoke about in the interview. It's in the Facebook group. So no matter what platform you're on, I will comment the um, Facebook group on afterwards because I don't think it'll let me do it through this. Let me see if I can make it work. I don't think I can. Um, no, but that's okay. So I'll comment, join the Facebook group. Let me know if you want to join. Type here. If you're watching this right now and you're not sure that you're going to remember to come back, that's fine. Type in the comments, I am in, and I will send you the Facebook group link. In there is this interview. So if you're looking down the barrel end of 2021 going, oh, I really need it to be different than this year. This year is insert swear words, which is a lot of millennial Gen Zs right now going, oh, I just, I can't do this again. Felt like this whole year was just going nowhere and putting in a lot of effort for zero return. And I know we're not the only generation to feel this way, but we are the only generation right now who has to make some really big decisions in our life completely separate to the world pandemic, to COVID. We're trying to decide career. We're kind of trying to decide, make massive life choices. There's a lot of us who are trying to figure out if we want to have kids. We're trying to decide all of these things during one of the most uncertain times in our entire lives, globally, economically. So you don't have to do this alone. There's that interview in the Facebook group with Carly with all her pearls of wisdom, all the things that she did, how she left her job, how she's now building a career just taken on her seventh client as a personal trainer and how she discovered that was her passion. All these pearls of wisdom are ready for you. You don't have to make next year the same as this year. You can choose something different. Hey, Ray, thanks for joining me. You can choose something different. The power is yours. Yep, there's a world pandemic, but at the end of the day, your life, the power of your life is inside of you. You make your choices. You assess the environment around you. If you know you're destined for something more, if you feel it right in your guts that you want to live an incredibly impactful and purpose-filled life, filled with passion, step one, comment I am in and I will send you the group link so you can join, join a like-minded group of motivated and empowered millennials and Gen Zs. There's 450 members in there right now, all of them hustling, and finding better ways to create passion and purpose in their life. And you can join us for free. It's a completely free group. Get that interview. Watch it with Carly. I cannot wait to see you there. And most importantly, that guys, this week, no matter what you do, join the Facebook group and remember to stick it.